Well, hello, y'all. How, how y'all are today? Today, this uh, topic of discussion is uh, extremism. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about that lately. How we as human beings, uh, we tend to take everything to extremes. We take a good idea and we don't just make it better. We go way beyond better to the extreme. And it turns, it goes full, full circle. It goes from, from needed to be fixed to fixed to needed to be fixed again. And what I mean by that, uh, I'll give you some examples. For one, unions, okay, back when they first started unions, we really needed them because the bosses were overworking the people with little pay, no benefits, so uh, the people stepped in and started unions. Well now, you know, then it got to be where uh, everybody wanted a union job, you know, because they were secure, because they knew that they couldn't get fired for no reason. They were going to be overworked. But then, through the years, the union reps started getting greedy because uh, they knew, to, to, to put it quite honest, unions are nothing more than a... Uh, I, I consider it like a mafia. And, you know, I was in several unions. And the union I was in, uh, it only, it had two companies. And I was on the union side. Every time they go to re redo the contract, the union members that had been there for 15, 16 years, they had to say so of how the uh, benefits were going to be distributed. Well, our boss had, like I said, he had two companies. One was union, one was non-union. And we was in the same union as these big grocery stores, Kroger and places like that. Well, when it comes to renew our uh, contract, the union, our shop rep, was spineless. He was in the in the, the owner's back pocket. He was so afraid of losing his job, even though he was in a union. So when it come to contract. They would take the contract and say, okay, this is what we want. And he just looked at him and said, look, this is what you're going to get. If you don't like it, I'll shut the doors here, take all my trucks, move them over to the non-union side, and you'll all be out of a job. So the one contract we did get, uh, I forget how much it boiled down to, but we ended up getting a whole dime raise because the union people that was in the company, they'd been there 15, 16 years, they wanted the bulk of it to go to the retirement plan. And uh, so that's where the bulk of it was. We ended up getting a dime raise. Well, I took, the, took a dime and I super glued it to the, uh, the owner's windshield, right in the middle of it to where he, he'd have to look at it. And I put a sign on his door saying, here's your dime back, you need it worse than I do. So anyway, that's one thing I got about unions, you know. And the reason, well, getting back to the story, the reason these guys wanted uh, the money to go into retirement is because once these guys retired, they made more 
on retirement for life than they did while they was working. And they have health benefits for life. And they get regular increases and all kinds of shit. So anyway, that's one example. Another example is welfare. You know, we have people in need, so people think, well, we need to help these people. So, okay, we help these people. And now it's become uh, we're not helping the people, we're hurting the people because they've lost all incentive to go out and look for work. And we've, uh, you know, we've, we've become a society of givers instead of takers or workers. We'd rather have the government uh, give us a handout than go out and work, about, especially the, I'm not saying all now, but the more majority of kids nowadays. Uh, if they do get jobs, they go to the job and they want to tell the boss what they're going to do, when they're going to do it, and how they're going to do it. And, you know, very seldom uh, there are, are kids that go to work and, and have good work ethic, ethics and everything. You know, they, they want it their way, and, you know, they're... Not. Anyway, that's another uh, example. And another, one more is uh, activist groups. Now, you know, back Back years ago, we had the tree huggers. They'd go out. They didn't want the, the trees cut down because it's going to take away the uh, spotted owl's habitat. Or, you know, they got all kinds of little animals that they think are going extinct. So they, they go out of their way to uh, uh, cause havoc you know, chain yourself to trees or, or stick spikes in trees so if they try to cut them down, it'll, the chainsaw hit them and it'll back it up and maybe cut their arm off. Or, or uh, you got people that they want to save a, a lizard of some sort so they, you know, and, and they just take the thing way, way, way too far. Uh, animal rights activists, oh God, them people just burn my ass you know they want they think they their mentality is like animals are human you know we put little coats on them and we feed them expensive foods and we take and spend thousands of dollars at doctors for them and just like they was human beings they're fucking animals uh now, don't get me wrong. I don't believe in abusing animals. I think it, uh, I think it's wrong to abuse animals, and that's the reason I don't have one. Because to me, if you own an animal and you have it out in your backyard on a chain, and that dog has to live on a chain all his life. That's animal abuse. Or if you have a, a, a dog and you have it inside and you don't take, it ain't got a voice saying, hey, I gotta go take a leak. And you don't take that dog out and it ends up crapping on or pissing on your floor and then you get pissed off at it. And, you know, that's animal abuse. You don't, if you own a dog or an animal, you need to take them out and give them regular exercise. If you don't, that's animal abuse. But I watched a video the other day on, on Facebook or YouTube one or two. Some guy, it was in Facebook, some guy in Texas, he had a drone and he was out uh, 
and he, he seen an antelope. Well, he flew his drone over this antelope and was taking pictures of it. Well, he got a little bit too close and it spooked the antelope, so the antelope ran off a little while. You know, it wasn't far and it wasn't a full gallop. He just kind of trotted off, you know, off about 100 yards and he stopped and he turned around. Well, but when he stopped, the guy brought his drone a little closer to him. And he wasn't right on top of, you know, just shooting in and out on him or something like that. He was just sitting at back at a distance, you know, hovering, watching, you know, just filming this, this antelope. Wasn't hurting the antelope. He wasn't buzzing around, you know, and everything like that. He was just filming it. Well, the antelope got pissed and he turned around and he charged it and he, he hit the drone and knocked it to the ground. And oh my God, the people with their comments, oh, this guy should be thrown in jail for harassing this poor antelope. And there should be laws against that. And this yaddy, 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 yaddy. Don't uh, antagonize the animals. And I, I think one of the park rangers in Colorado or had posted this or something. And don't harass the animals. The guy wasn't harassing the damn envelope. He was taking the damn picture. If, if anything, the damn antelope was the one was the, in the wrong because it come in and knocked the guy's uh, drone out of the air, you know. And, and the guy wasn't harassing. He was sitting there taking his picture. So anyway, my point of the whole thing is, we as human beings. We take things to extremes from needing to be fixed to fixed to needing to be fixed again. Our government, the world's worst about that. And uh, I just don't understand it. You know, I can understand being concerned about a situation, but, you know, we need to stop and think that there's a certain, it comes to a certain point to where the problem is solved. We don't have to take it any further. But like I said, animal rights activists or any kind of activists take matters way, way, way too far. You know, that's, we got people out there that think it's wrong to fish. Oh, uh, that uh, putting a hook in that poor fish's mouth, and and uh, it's wrong to hunt. It's inhumane to hunt. Well, I'm sorry, people, but that's what God put them animals on the earth for. For food for us, you know. But uh, once you become an activist of any kind something in your brain clicks and you're no longer uh, rational. You know, you're just an uh, irrational human being that, that has lost all touch of uh, reality. Okay, that's the end of this rant. The other day, I went to make a video and I got my GoPro out, you know, and I put it on the tripod. Well, I went to pick it up. And I don't know if you can see it or not. But this is my tripod thing that you click the camera on. You just screw it in the bottom here. This is a knockoff. I got this, it took me about two or three months to get it. Well, not that long, but it was a long time. Because it come out of China. It's not a regular GoPro. And all the, the, the little ears busted off. And so, word of warning, don't buy these knockoff uh, things for your camera. 
if you're going to buy something, buy an original for your product. Because these knockoff things are ain't worth a damn plastic they're molded in. I just spent, I don't know how much for this, but it, I used it about four times and, it, and both ears busted. Okay, now, third. I was on Facebook the other day, you know, these ads on the side of the page, you know. It said, buy these lures and just pay shipping. So I had never seen these lures before, so I thought, okay, well, it's, you know, I'll give it a shot because I, I didn't have any lures like that in my tackle box. So uh, I'd forgot about it. And uh, yesterday I got went to the mailbox and they they was here. Well, they come all the way from China. And I don't know what they call these things, but here's a, here's a picture of one of them. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. Okay. This in here has got blue eyes. And see them little holes at the top there? It's got two uh, treble hooks on it. Okay, I got a gold. Got this black. These blue eyes. And I got a silver. That was upside down. And I got two small silver ones. One with blue eyes and one with yellow eyes. Now I've never fished with these before. I don't know whether they're a jig, a jig, or you pull them through the water, or, or what you do. I'm assuming them holes are to hook your uh, swivel or whatever to them, to where it'll it'll make them tilt to different, you know, to go to where they, they wobble different. That's the only thing I can think that'd be for. So, how do you fish these? Are they a, a vertical jigging jig? Do you pull them through the water? Uh, which hole do you use? So if there's anybody out there that uses these, if you can explain this to me, I'd appreciate it. So, uh, that's just uh, another video to give you something to think about. And uh, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. You know, these are my views. But come on, people. I mean, really? Uh, we take things way too far a lot of times. And we. The things that we should find that we get fired up about, you know, uh, that's not not of my concern. So I'm gonna, it's like I call them ostriches. Uh, they just want to stick their head in the sand, and I've got a saying for ostriches. You know, people that don't want to vote or don't want to. Uh, uh, listen to the debates and stuff like that. They just want to vote because they think somebody's pretty or it's a woman or they're black or you know that's why they, they base their vote on. Or they think, well, it doesn't pertain to me, so I ain't gonna worry about it. I call these people ostriches. But there's one bad part about being an ostrich. It's a good way to get your ass shot off. <laughs> so anyway, people, that's my rant for today. Hope y'all have a good day. Uh, y'all, God bless. Take care. Love y'all now. Bye-bye.